getting uh, the bag set up for hole five. <clears throat> this is a shorter par four, but it is a tough driving hole. I shouldn't need anything other than driver and short iron or rough iron. I might end up in the rough. It's a tough driving hole. So let's go ahead and get get in here. So as you can see, last hole, um, I forfeited out because I'm not. I don't want to qualify today. And depending on the wind, this this hole can be played several ways. On the left, on the right, over. If we got downwind, we can play over the trees. With the right club and we got in and hurting so we are gonna go on I'm gonna go three and a half and pretty much full left spin I'm gonna land right oh no, I'm not gonna go full left spin and take a little bit of that left spin off we're gonna go five left spin And we're gonna play. So my outer ring here is seven and a half. Play a little over seven and a half because we are into power. And I'm gonna curl it just a bit. So since I was into power, I went just a tiny bit more. Whew, and I probably didn't need to curl it. But with that less top spin that I put on the on the uh, ball. That's why you see me not hitting that tree and going underneath it. More top spin you put, the further that first bounce goes. And then you could hit that tree a lot easier. So that's why you see me missing that tree and not actually hitting it. Otherwise, I would have hit that tree with that shot. So you can even go a little less um, side spin. Something to do. If you're taking notes, something to jot down. And we probably are we're at max short iron. So max, usually max, I play a three back spin and then I roll it to the hole, kind of. So see that bounce? I leave it about what I think is about one foot short. And then. This outer ring on this club, this is max club right now, 7.5, and I'm just going to go a little bit past, almost to six rings, just under six rings. And the perfect ball. <clears throat> this is a tough one even, even though you're perfectly lined up, because that green is, you can see the green. It's pretty tricky green. So, been carrying far on me every time with that shot so I need to adjust something there <clears throat> so if I was you guys take notes and um, you can go ahead and tweak your shot a little better from there. See, even my opponent tweaked his a little bit. He's, uh, we're in the same position now, basically. But that shot can be made. For some reason, it's playing long. You've seen that. So try to adjust for that and see what happens for you guys. And I probably... Should have just forfeited that hole. Since it was guaranteed birdie. But I give us one more chance at another shootout hole and another look at a different wind. You guys can see a little bit from there. And this hole. I would have left the Guardian on. I could have showed you the other shot. 
and with eight in our face, I think I can just do it with the um, so I'm gonna play 10 wind on this eight. Actually, I'm gonna play 12 wind. There's five, there's 10, 11, 12. I'm playing 12. There's two and a half or so for the downhill, and then the uh, only reason I played two more is because I was really close to that edge, and I didn't want to be that close to that edge. <clears throat> so, not not too bad of a shot, really. I mean, you can make that putt all day long. And he's probably not going to be able to bounce there. He's going to switch clubs as soon as he goes um, to be. He'll switch clubs right at time. Because he's got to go 11 win, basically. And he switch clubs. And now he's down. And he, he does. There's no way to even line up for that shot. That's what I'm getting at. It's all a guess now. <clears throat> and it was a perfectly good guess. So, great shot by our opponent. Don't recommend that shot if you have the right clubs.